Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Back at you with a brand new tutorial. So we are doing something a little different today. It is a bracelet, but uh, the way you wear it is a little different, I guess. So this is a uh, four strand uh, braid, I guess you can call it. And we're using a snap shackle as a closure. But the way you wear this one is um, you do have to double it around your wrist twice because um, I think this one, because it's so thin, I think you, it's kind of cool that you can wear it like doubled around. I've seen a lot of different types of wrist wear where you do that. But also the way we close it is with um, the snap shackle. We feed this through here and there we go. We uh, close it off like that. Okay, so there it is on the wrist. Kind of interesting uh, style, I guess, to it because you have it doubled over. So we're using this uh, little cool stainless steel uh, snap shackle. Got some whipping knots here, and we use a, we terminate with a four strand uh, foot rope knot. Got some nice micro cord accents on it too. So yeah, that's what we'll be learning in this one. Uh, a little different, I hope you guys will like it, I hope you guys will try it out. And uh, yeah, guys, remember anything uh, using this video, you can find in the uh, links in the description below, through my affiliate links, because every time you guys shop through those, you are supporting this channel greatly. All right, guys, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, I got my paracord ready here, and I've got my uh, snap shackle just kind of hitched to my monitor, actually, as an anchor. And I've got one strand of paracord fed through the bottom here. I've got about eight feet because I'm doing, we're doing the doubled over look. Um, but if you want this to be just like a single strand around your um, wrist, you can just use like half of this. Got another strand of black about the same length. So we're going to start off with both pieces of paracord doubled over and uh, this method is actually quite simple so you see we've got the black underneath so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the gray and we're just going to twist them this way like that okay it's going to be a little tricky at first but make sure when you do that bring the paracord all the way through okay so it's kind of twisted like this let me set myself up first it's a little tricky, I know, but uh, even for me to show it on camera. So let's just twist it over like that, right? Now, next, is you're going to twi twist the black ones. Well, not really twist, you're going to cross them over. Cross them over. Across, like that. Okay? So all we did was one cross and another one. So now bring both strands over. Okay? So now we did the black. Now you're going to do the gray again. Okay, so this time you're going to bring these two strands across like that. Okay, pull tight. And again, straighten everything out because you want them completely crossed over like that. Okay, so we did the gray. Now again, just do the black. So cross that over like so. And pull everything. Oops. Yeah, be careful, you might uh, try not to pull too hard. Pull everything to the side. So always have uh, one hand holding it together because if you let go of both, they'll kind of come apart. Okay, so now we did that. Again, let's do the gray. So switch that over like so. And that's essentially the pattern. You can see the braid is starting to form. So let's go again. Getting to the bottom of my camera here, but uh, I have to move down a bit. Okay. And that's it. That is how you braid this. Let me uh, reorient. Okay, so just continue doing those crossovers. And you'll know you're doing it right because you see these uh, cords, they're kind of uh, repeating. They're all facing kind of this way. Uh, if you mess it up, you'll know because it'll be crossed over to the wrong side. You'll you'll see if you um, you'll be able to notice it if you if you're not doing it right. But anyways, so crossed over and remember what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of pulling all these cords to the and straightening straightening them out to one side, just because I want to make sure I got everything crossed over. Oh, I lost my grip here. Okay, so we're there. Now let's cross over again. Okay, so just continue this um, pattern 
of braiding your strands. And uh, yeah, just keep going. This will get longer and longer. So if you're anchored to something, you're going to get progressively, you know, further away from whatever you're uh, anchored to. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to continue going all the way to the end and then uh, we'll move on to um, working on the clasp. Okay. Okay, so I've uh, braided enough length to wrap twice around my wrist. Now to terminate, um, I think just to hold everything together and maybe we'll leave it on. I'm gonna tie a whipping knot here um, just to hold all our strands together. And um, if you don't know how to do this, of course, you can check my tutorial on that, but just to go through it quickly. I lay the piece of rope on top of here. Okay, like that. And then we're going to start twisting. So I think the best way for us to uh, terminate this bracelet is to do a four strand uh, foot rope knot, which is kind of like the four strand diamond knot. So we're going to do that. Um, just let me do this whipping right here. This might be a nice little accent. We might leave this on actually, but we'll see. Okay, let's get this all the way around through the last little loop here. Let me pull on this one to secure it. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now we have our four strands coming out from the back here. And I think we can tie our diamond knot, our four strand foot rope knot. So let's do that next. Okay, so to do our four strand foot rope knot, I'm gonna go through this a little bit quickly because I do have a dedicated tutorial for that, but we've got our four strands. This one's always a little tricky. We wanna set them up like this. It's almost like tying a um, square knot. Let's go over like that. And the last one, go under and over and through. Okay, so this is how you want your rope set up, paracord set up. Okay, now I'm going to take this strand, go underneath here, so past, past the strand here, up and through the middle, like that, that's one. Do the same for all of them. So this black one is going to go past this strand here, up through the middle. that next one here go past this strand up through the middle last one we go past this strand through here and up through the middle so if that was too uh, confusing check my dedicated tutorial Okay, so now we're gonna cinch all the excess out. Be very careful when you do this part because it could make or break your knot, so take your time. Okay, so I finished cinching up my four strand foot rope knot. Took off the uh, whipping, which was the, um, this is like 95 cord, I think. I just forget, <laughs> might be 275. Anyways, I took off this cord. I think it's a little too thick. Uh, you can leave um, whipping knots. You can put, maybe put one here and also put one here, like uh, here and here. I think that would make a really nice accent, um, but I think micro cord would look better. I might do that um, in the end, but uh, if you can just stop here if you wish. And uh, for these strands here, you can snip and singe all of them off. You know, snip and melt them right here. 
or you could even leave them like uh, maybe about a quarter inch or an inch long. Uh, I think the kind of tasseled look would look nice on this one, but I'll decide what I do in the next couple of minutes. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, you know what? I think I will add some uh, whipping knots here, but uh don't think I'll record that. So just, uh, yeah, either put some whipping knots here or not. It's up to you. And then just snip and singe and then we'll be finished. Okay, and there we have it. I'm done. So I did end up adding the, uh, the whipping knots to the ends here. I think that makes a nice little accent. And of course, um, again, this is how it works. The knot is big enough to stay in and keep it secured around your wrist. You could probably figure out a way to have the four strands terminate in some sort of loop. Um, just didn't have the time to figure that out on my own. But maybe you guys can figure it figure it out for yourself, you know. And again, you know, you guys should always use my... T I feel like you guys should use these tutorials as a guideline. You know, never think that, you know, this is the only way to do something. I just like to show you guys how I'm doing something. And of course, if you guys can improve on that, that would be awesome, All right? So that is it, guys. I hope everything in this tutorial was nice and clear. Uh, if not, leave a comment or question down below. Let me know what you thought about or what you think about this uh, project in uh, the comments down below as well. And again, guys, if you're looking for any sort of tools and materials I use in this video, check out my uh, affiliate links in the description because every time you guys shop through those links, you're helping me out a lot. All right, so that is it, guys. I'll see you on the next tutorial.